Hey, welcome to Man Kitchen Recipes. I'm Kevin, and uh, today we're going to start a new viral video, right? We're going to do some smashed burgers. Okay, how are we going to make them? We're going to make them on our Blackstone. Yeah, it's cold here. It snowed two days ago. There's still snow on the cover. It's, it's about 27 degrees out right now, so I'm going to get this cover off, start this up, let it heat up, and while it's doing that, we'll go inside and we'll measure up the burgers. I'll show you how I uh, prepare them. And then we'll come back out and we'll make smashed burgers. Got icicles on my cover. <laughs> so today yeah, I'm using a 85-15 burger. Uh, 80-20 is usually what I want to get, but uh, this is what they had at the store. And uh, when you're making smashed burgers, smashed burgers, uh, I find that uh, 3 to 3.2 ounce patties is perfect size for your burgers. Especially when you're making smash burgers. So I'm going to make, that's 3-1. You'll usually get 5 out of a pound. And uh, so we'll just measure them up. See how many we get. 2.6. Boy, that one's really short. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> Let's do that again. Ah, oh, that makes more sense. 3.1. Okay, I had my plate too close. Okay, so I got uh, three three twos and two three ones out of one pound. So if you notice, that's like 15... 15 ounces, right? Because when you buy a pound in this kind of packaging, it's uh, net weight. So that you're paying the ounce for the packaging. <laughs> Crazy. All right, that's how you do Okay, it. for these burgers, let's just make up a quick burger sauce. This is like an in and out burger sauce, and these are all your ingredients. Yeah, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, splash of white vinegar, and some relish. All right, so I'm just gonna take a I don't know, a couple spoonfuls of mayonnaise. It's probably, yeah, close to half a cup. Ketchup. Let's do almost two tablespoons or two tablespoons of ketchup. Let's do a tablespoon of mustard. Tablespoon, uh, maybe a little more, of uh, pickle relish. And probably about a teaspoon, just a little bit of uh, white vinegar. Maybe, yeah, about a teaspoon. And mix it up. There you go. And you have a uh, copycat in and out burger sauce. First thing I like to do when I'm making smashed burgers is I like to get a little, a little uh, olive oil down. I use olive oil for my buns. And I like to toast my buns first. And I'll do these with olive oil instead of butter. And just like that. It only takes about a minute. These are ready. Keep them over here on the side, keep them warm. Yeah, three, two doubles, two double doubles, and a single. Okay, let's get those burgers on. So the best way, obviously, to do your smash burgers is you lay them all out. I think we can get all five of them on here. So you put your parchment paper down, smash them, and hold them for 10 seconds. Like that. Now this is when I want to put some uh, SPG, salt, pepper, garlic down on them. Okay. And as soon as you flip them, put some cheese on them. I'm using a uh, white, 
It's that plastic cheese, but they say it's mozzarella. All right, and it goes that fast. Looks like that. I'm gonna move these over for a second. Okay. Might need a little bit of oil down. Right, so now we're gonna make our smashed burgers. Smashed burgers. Okay, so what you wanna do is get your patty or get your bun down. Add a little burger sauce. Add your patties. Now you can put pickles, onions, whatever you want on here. You know, I'm in New Mexico. I gotta have my green chili. I'm gonna put the lid on top. And this is why we call it a smashed burger. It down for about 10 seconds, just like you do with your patty. Look at that. Let's make another one. Put your bun down. Burger sauce on there. Yeah, it's messy, right? Put your double double on there. And put some pickles down. Give me a little more sauce on this one, just a tiny bit. Okay, put my lid on it. You know what's coming. I can smash. Smashed burgers. I'm not pushing really super hard. Just enough to uh, get a nice little sear on that bottom bun. Okay. Flip it. See that sear? Hold it down. Okay. Just flip it so you can see it. Look at that. Alright, we got one more. This one's a single. Well, with green chili on this one too. You can put whatever, you can do the Oklahoma onion burgers, whatever you like. Put this on there, hold it down for about 10 seconds. Okay. Flip it over. All right, there you go. That's that viral smashed burger. All right, let's give these a taste. All right, there you go. Smashed burgers, the new viral smash burger. Smashed burgers. All right, there you go. Smashed burgers, not smashed burger, smashed burger. <clears throat> now, in case you're wondering, where do you come up with this stuff? I'll tell you. My buddy Lance over at Sleeper Barbecue, he got a panini maker, you know, this uh, from Viver, and it smashes down, it makes your paninis. And he did smash burgers on them, but I was waiting for him to put the bun in there and smash it like a panini. And I thought, ah, he didn't do it. So I did it. I did it with my uh, Blackstone Burger Press. That is a smashed burger. You smash it down, you hold it down, you get a little crust on that bun. Look at that. All right, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Mmm, 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 mmm. All right. I gotta tell you, if you love smash burgers, you gotta try this smashed burger. I mean, you know, it's got the bun, it's just smashed. See how thin that bun is? And it's toasted, inside and out. <laughs> All right. You could do this with any kind of smash burger. Onion burger, like I said, green chili, pickles. You can put onions, grilled onions, whatever you like to put on your burgers. You don't have to use burger sauce. You can use mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, whatever you like putting on your burger. Heat it up with some sriracha, whatever you like. All right, just get out there 
and completely smash your smash burger and make smashed burgers. All right? All you guys that have griddles, get out there and make these. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. All right. Cooled off. Put the cover back on. Snow didn't even fall off of it when I took it off or put it back on. Yeah, it's pretty cold.